And the body, as the unconscious mind, does not know the difference between the actual experience in your life that creates the emotion and the emotion that you're fabricating by thought alone. To the body, it's exactly the same. While researching his book, You Are the Placebo, Joe Dispenza made an amazing discovery about reverse aging. During the book's creation, he evaluated hundreds of placebo trials, amongst which he discovered this. On a crisp September morning, a group of eight men in their 70s and 80s climbed into a few vans and drove two hours north of Boston to a monastery in New Hampshire. They were about to take part in a five-day retreat in which they were asked to pretend that they were 22 years younger than their current age. They flipped through old issues of Life and the Saturday Evening Post. They watched movies and television shows popular in 1959, and they listened to recordings of Perry Como and Nat King Cole on the radio. They also talked about current events, such as Fidel Castro's rise to power in Cuba, Russian Premier Nikita Khrushchev's visit to the United States, and even the feats of baseball star Mickey Mantle. All of these experiences were cleverly designed to help the men actually feel and imagine that they were 22 years younger. The following week, another group of eight men in their 70s and 80s made that same trip, but instead of being asked to pretend that they actually were 22 years younger, they were asked simply to reminisce about that same time in their lives. After each five-day retreat, the researchers took several measurements and compared them to those they'd taken before the start of the study. The bodies of the men from both groups were physiologically younger, structurally as well as functionally. The researchers discovered improvements in height, weight, and gait. The men grew taller as their posture straightened, and their fingers lengthened as their arthritis diminished. Their eyesight and hearing got better, their grip strength improved, their memory sharpened, and they scored better on tests of mental cognition. The men had literally become biologically younger during those five days right in front of the researcher's eyes. And the head researcher recalled that he was actually playing touch football with some of these older men. These men didn't just feel younger, they physically became younger. The change wasn't just in their minds, it was in their bodies. But there was a major difference. The first group, who had pretended they were 22 years younger, had improved significantly above the other group who had just reminisced about being younger. This amazing discovery led to two questions. One, what's the mechanism via which elderly seniors pretending they're younger can actually influence their body to become biologically younger? And two, how can we all do the same? In You Are The Placebo, Joe explains how our thoughts, emotions, and beliefs influence our cells and even our genes. This model of reality suggests that certain genes can be switched on and off based on the information cells receive from their environment, via the way that thoughts and emotions influence biochemistry, which cells then interpret and act on. Most of us day in, day out, have the same sets of experiences and thoughts, based around the same locations, places, and people. Uh, that was certainly the case for these elderly seniors whose environments reflected back to them the reality of who they were, including their biological age. But that was before they went to the monastery. Through pretending to actually be 22 years younger, the thoughts and emotions required to do this massively stimulated their cells, which Joe suggests would then have acted on this new information in significant ways. The biological changes observed were not subtle, and of course there's more information in Joe's book. However, for us to work with the same phenomenon, the same mechanism, it's more or less a simple strategy. Create audio and visual cues. Watch the old movies and television programs you used to enjoy the most. Listen to the music of your youth. The songs you loved, not just liked, loved, were passionate about, because we also have to create elevated emotions. And Dr. Joe explains why. So is it possible then, if the environment signals the gene, and it does, and the end product of an experience in the environment is called an emotion, can you signal the gene ahead of the environment by embracing an elevated emotion? We've done the research on this. We've measured 7,500 different gene expressions in a group of people. The gene for oxidative stress was upregulated. We started seeing all these genes that are very, very healthy to cause the body to flourish. Imagine if people were doing that for three months. We also measured telomeres, determine their biological age. 74% of the people lengthened their telomeres. 40% significant change. That means that they got a little bit of their life back. Interrupt your daily habitual lifestyle patterns with regular activities that you loved from when you were young. The events you attended, sports you used to play, 
the songs you mastered when learning a musical instrument, any video games you might have played, which for many of us gave rise to strong elevated emotions, all deeply associated with your youth and all likely to stimulate your cells in ways similar to those elderly seniors. And if you can't actually do these things, imagine them with real emotion. Because thoughts are the language of the brain and feelings are the language of the body. And how you think and how you feel creates a state of being. And the body, as the unconscious mind, does not know the difference between the actual experience in your life that creates the emotion and the emotion that you're fabricating by thought alone. To the body, it's exactly the same. There are thought patterns that anchor us to a certain biological reality, which echo back to us the state of our health and our physical age. Dr. Joe has said many times that we need to carefully edit our thoughts if we're to make changes to our personal reality. A change in mind can lead to a significant change in the body. This idea opens doors to new realities, and honestly, it's hard to imagine just what the limits are when we start programming ourselves this way at the deepest possible levels. What are the limits? We're going to find out. Expect to see older people looking younger and younger as more of us learn to develop and explore this power. And if you want to learn more about that, learn how Eckhart Tolle slows down his age. That's equally as fascinating. And I think some of these ideas work with Joe's ideas really effectively. Now, if you found any of that helpful, please hit the like button. Much appreciated. And perhaps I'll see you again.